everybody. Welcome to the Actors Penthouse. I'm Brett. And I'm Noah. And today we're very honored to have Courtney Olivier with us. Yeah. Hey, Courtney. How's it hey, going? Courtney. I'm good. How are you guys? All right. Really so, good. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So, Courtney, um, Courtney, you've worked with us in the past and yeah. we loved having you on our set. Thank you. And that's why we brought you back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, She's back. <laughs> yeah. Tell, um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and uh, why you are an actor. Okay. Actress. Of course. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, my name is Courtney Olivier, and I, I'm an actor because I, I believe in the power of story, and I think it's like the most amazing creative field. I feel like I've become a better person. Yeah. And, and just by creating these characters and these stories and all of this, like my own experience is like richer. And what, what was the moment in your life when you were like, I'm going to be an actor? Honestly, I've always just kind of gravitated towards it. I was always, um, first it started with dance, and I love dance, and mm. um, of course I started dancing in plays, and then I started wanting to have speaking parts in the plays, and then I was just kind of always involved in it. So, so. you're a multifaceted performer. Yes, I am. Excellent, awesome. <laughs> um, Are you gonna do a little dance for us later? Um, sure, um, <laughs> whatever these will allow. <laughs> All right, cool. Perfect. Awesome. So, so what shows are you looking to get onto, and what does your future look like? And who do you want to uh, who do you want to call out, and who okay. would you like to connect with? Um, I'd love to be on The Walking Dead. Ooh. Love that show. Um, Game of Thrones. I know they cast out of England, but a girl can dream. Can you um, speak with a British accent? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Of course. Oh, okay. Well. Um, what else? Um, a lot of my favorite shows went, went off within the past like two years, but um, Blackish would be fun, Grey's Anatomy. So if there's one show that you can work on right now, what would it be? It would be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Who's the casting director? Sarah Finn, I believe. Sh Sarah Finn? All right, yes. Sarah, you've been called out. Right, We're so, coming for you. Yeah. So with that in mind, why don't let's, we check out your reel? Okay, let's, let's do it. Do it. <laughs> Bam. Turns out your sentries were far more useless than I gave them credit for. I'm sure they'll be walking again by tomorrow. Although maybe not. What do you want? You know what I want! Get out of here. I didn't come here to play rough, but if that's what you want, I can do that. Mini golf? I was not too lame, is it? <laughs> no. My last Tinder date took me to a share concert and then cried at the end. <laughs> not that I go on a lot of Tinder dates. Well, how, how many dates do you go on? Ten. Ten? Five. Five. Hey, what do you think of this? The Democrats launched their first filibuster. Did you just say Ghostbusters? Seriously? Tell me you've seen that movie. Rick Moranis and Dan Aykroyd teaming up with Bill Murray to fight crime? No, no. I, I know the movie, Lucy. And no, this is a political magazine. A serious political magazine. And Ghostbusters are fake. <gasps> Can you just get me the pile? There's nothing left to talk about, Dad. You made yourself perfectly clear. Look, I only have your best interest in mind. No, you don't. You only have your best interest in mind. This isn't some childhood dream. Come on, just get a job and be an adult. Since when is wanting to make something of your life childish? I'm just expected to go off to law school, forget about dance. And live hand to mouth for the rest of your life? No, this is my house. The couch you're sitting on belongs to daddy. You think all this is gonna be free? I don't care. I don't care about any of that. I just want to be fulfilled. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Cordy, awesome. Yeah, who, Thank cool. You. Yeah, you, you wouldn't even know that, that uh, yeah, those are all from movies, aren't they? Um, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. That is incredible. I, I, mean, love, I think I we love had your, a little something to do with your making ninja that. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so I want to I want to see the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> part two. Part two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shield, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so now, as an actress, like you've had this journey in LA. You know, you're not from LA. No. Um, what has your journey been like so far? What are some of the challenges that you're coming in front of? For me, it's been a little challenging, um, probably the networking aspect, just because I've I've gone to workshops here and there, but I don't I don't for me necessarily I don't feel like um, a lot of times when I go that um, an opportunity is going to come from them from mm -hmm. the few people that I have seen in the workshops. Um, not that it can't happen and it doesn't work for other people, but for me specifically. Um, you had a challenge really reconnecting with those people that you've been meeting. Right, mm -hmm. right. And yeah. and I don't really think people do postcards anymore. So it's like, it's just become a little bit harder um, for me to to reach out and, and connect with casting directors that I want to work with. Especially right. when you're fresh out of school and you don't have the experience, but you are, you know, 
mature. Right. And so ready, I have, ready for action. Right. right. So right. what what do you think are some things that you can start doing? Um, I I could start emailing people directly. I know that in the where when I first got here, people were like, oh, you should just go stop by the casting office, drop off, and, and you know, just ask. And I'm just like, oh no, I could never do that. Like, but now I'm kind of to the point where it's like, well. You know, as long as I'm not disrupting anything, and you know, right. if I if they can't see me, you know, or whatever, then totally fine. What are some things that that you found that that are actually working to help your career, like, or things that you want to start implementing? Some habits, like we really love to talk about habits. Uh, I try to work out three times a week. Most of the time, I can do three. Sometimes it, it gets busy, but that's good because I'm busy, and that's important. So you really like to stay physically yeah. fit, and, I do. and you really it, like to take care of yourself. Yeah, because when you're like working out. That mentality when you're working out of, you know, got to get, I can do this, you know, that like positive, like Reinforce, mindset oh, and yeah. then physical it's good practice pop, yeah. for you to be mentally for for what we're doing and of course, um, you know, the situations we're in and you know perseverance and just having that positive attitude. If you're working out consistently, it just kind of carries throughout your day and and your you, life. Yeah, and you yeah. have the endorphins pump in and you right. just feel good. So. so so now with all of our audience, with all our fellow actors and performers out there. What final advice do you have for them? I would say try to create your own opportunities. Um, find like-minded people like yourself. That's what I do. People that are interested in creating things and that are go-getters and have an attitude like I do. Um, and just try to create your own content. Um, you know, in the meantime, that way you are pushing for something. You're giving other people opportunities. You're meeting people. Um, you're putting yourself in like a network of other creatives um, to work with and. Um, I feel like that can create a lot of opportunities for you. Awesome, um, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now, I know you, you so I want to I wanna kind of ask how we can get out there and support you, but I know you, you were in a, you were just in a, a, a series regular on a show. Is that something you can talk about yet? Or yes, is that I, sort I can of... talk a little bit about it. Um, I'm a series regular on a show called Laid. Um, it's about five women living in LA um, and best friends, um, sort of like a dramatic comedy uh, show. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's written by women. No offense. Um, it's written <laughs> by women, produced and created by women. So it's fun um, to have these strong, um, vulnerable, uh, complicated characters um, to play with. And uh, and how do we, how do we find that? Where is that? Um, it'll be released in 2016. I, okay. I, I'm unsure of the route they're going. It might be in Netflix. Might be. Uh, Amazon or Hulu. So it looks like it's a new media production. Yeah. It is, yes. Great. Cool. It is. Great. So how can we get a hold of you in the meantime? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, social media? Yes. Uh, Website? My, my Facebook is Courtney Olivier. You can find me there. Um, Miss Courtney Olivier on Instagram and Courtney Olivier with a zero on Twitter and um, Periscope. <laughs> cool. Oh, you're on Periscope. I, yeah. I am on Periscope. With Andy Dick. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. Well, that is Courtney Olivier. Thank awesome. you all for stopping by the Actress Penthouse. All right. Take Bye. it easy. <laughs>